Hello there, bushwhackers, wild campers, and well, just general camping enthusiasts. Hope you're all well. Thought today I'd show you this stove that I've been using on this car camping trip I've been doing around Wales. And this is it. It's kind of a, you can see that kind of concertina design there. Which, so it's got a built-in wind guard, a piezo fire lighter to start the flame. It's a remote gas canister operation and it's really quite nice. So what happens is you've got quite a large gas plate there and then four gas flames in the middle. And the reason I bought this was because I thought it would work really well with some of these kind of pans that I like to use. All three of them in fact. Because what happens is with these sometimes is on some of the smaller gas plates you just get heat in the middle of the pan so you end up burning what's in the middle whereas because of the design of this it reflects heat onto a broader area of the pan so you get a more even cook and that's why I kind of bought this to try out but it works really well say with this too what you do have to watch for is that you don't actually stifle the flame so you do have to make sure that you haven't got it too tight because otherwise there's no oxygen getting in and the flame will die. But other than that, it's quite good. <laughs> I found this really good actually. I wanted something portable that had a bigger gas plate really and this has ticked the box. You can probably tell it's uh, a little bit dirty but that's because it's had quite a lot of hammer. So uh, you won't see the flame but we'll fire it up, put some water on and then if you just gently close this, it's just now quite breezy today, but it's now cut the wind out from hitting the flame and throwing the flame off and making things slower to heat up and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I am actually really impressed with this. The branding on the Amazon ad is Quenty, although the product itself is unbranded. And uh, well, I forgot to mention as well, it does have four sort of like legs for stability which fold underneath, but it is really cool. I have found this really useful, that's all I wanted to say really. And it, it's in my top list of things that have worked well in this car camping trip that uh, all this friend and I have been doing. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. I'll put some links in the comments and description and if you like it, you can check it out if you think it's a handy little thing to have. It does come with a little carry bag, which to be honest with you is a bit naff because it's a bit of a tight squeeze. So I probably will find some other way of sort of like transporting this, but yeah, I do actually really like it. That water on there is starting to heat up already that I put on. It does boil water relatively quickly. Yes, it's not gonna be as quick as those little direct flame ones, but this is more for cooking on rather than just heating water. And I think that's the important thing to be aware of. So if you want something to actually cook on, this is a good option. Whereas if you're just gonna use um, rehydrated meals and those boil in the bag meals, then yeah, you can get away with just heating water with a direct flame, like a jet boil or a pocket rocket or the OAX Etna, that kind of thing. But this, it provides you with a cooking flame, a cooking base that's big enough to actually cook on and use bigger pans, that kind of stuff. So yeah. Really impressed with this. If you like it, as I say, you know what to do. Check it out in the comments, uh, the link out in the comments in the description. Thanks for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio. Yeah, that took around about three minutes to heat 300 mils of water to boiling point, And that was without a lid on. Not bad, eh?